Hey guys, RDMF Jones here. I uh, wanted to do a quick video. I was uh, thinking the other day, I've been getting some comments on some of my other videos about like, uh, you don't know anything about reloading and you don't do nothing. And I've I, one guy told me he loaded a million rounds of ammunition. So I really got to thinking about that. And I'm kind of like, as a guy who's been out here doing it longer than a lot of my viewers have been alive, I'm kind of like along the lines of, you know... Let's go actually see what's internet bullshit and what's not. So here's the deal. I started working in a law enforcement agency. I'm not going to speak on it. And we had to keep meticulous logbooks of everything. So we always do, do meticulous logbooks of everything that we've ever done. I started working there in 2006. I was already a reloader then, but not a serious one. So because we started keeping meticulous logbooks, I got into this habit of logging everything and so then about 2008, I had been living in the current address where you see right here. This is my garage where I've had my reloading stuff for a long time now. In 2008, I actually kept a book. This is the actual book. This is a composition notebook. It's sewn together. The pages don't come out. And yes, I guess this could be an elaborate fake, right? I guess this thing could really be an elaborate fake that I spent months and months and and uh, artificially, you know, messed up and everything else, or that, you know, I spent artificial months messing up and screwing up and everything else, I suppose that's a possibility, that yes, that's that a guy could make a fake logbook. But I'm probably, I don't really care that much, okay? Like, for real, it really doesn't matter to me. Fuck that. So, this is my actual reloading log since 2006. So let's take a look at it. So I've got this. So I've got this sitting next to boxes of bullets on the little huh, surplus green desk that I use to load ammunition. And as you can see, if I go pull this up, I literally have my first entry as December twelfth of two thousand eight, along with every bit of load data, what I was loading, and everything else. In fact, I started pulling accuracy data from 2009. I can't even tell you what gun I fired this out of, right? We go here. There's what 168 grain match was whatever I was shooting out of. That's the best I could replicate. Welcome to reloading, I guess, right? Look at all this. So every top of these page, what I did is, is I started to actually go through all this data. And at the top of the page, I started pulling numbers. And as you can see, we are talking about, I don't even have a 44 mag anymore. I haven't had a 44 mag in a decade. Well, yeah, probably a decade. I've got stuff for when I loaded specialized cartridges for a Bannerman conversion Mosin Nagant. I load stuff that for people that are dead. I've, talk, I've got stuff in here, load recipes and what I did. I shot 40 going out of my mind for years. Right, I don't even shoot 40. This is when I started shooting IDPA was back in 13. So I've got like, oh, what did I do for nine line uh, IDPA, right? This is the stuff that I'm doing for this. And then I got like, oh, this was when I bought on 6.30 of 14 is when I bought um, my uh, Colt 901. And so here, here's everything I did, right? Here's some groups I shot with various loads to try to see which one shot best. Right, I had a Vepper. There's like the best one I got. Right, I was really happy about that. That's a hundred yards with Hornady GMX. Wow, look at all this. Right, but on top of that, I've just got load data on top of loads. This thing goes on and on. Now we're into 2020. So here's the last couple of years, 2021, and here's 2022. Right now I'm at 1625 on this page plus another 250 here. I got a bunch of load data because I've been playing with 10 millimeters. And I got 50 rounds on here, and then all this other stuff is like velocity data, because I've been working on 10 millimeter, and then I got like right at the very end. And that is the total number that's in this book, all right? So 37,058 rounds have been loaded by me since, whatever the hell I said, December of 2008. So what's the point of me showing you this book on the internet? Well, first off, let's talk about the point. The point is, is that I see a lot of people talking about a bunch of crazy stuff when it comes to reloading. And I'm always like envisioning some old timer that is sitting somewhere going, ah, dirt, 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 dirt. 
But now I know kind of who the internet is made of. I don't know if that's really the case. And while I'm not as old as some of you probably, uh, according to my YouTube dynamics, I'm older than like half of the people who watch these videos. So, okay. I figure, I guess I'm that crotchety old timer now. So let's dispel some myths, shall we? First off, you need to have really, 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 really good equipment. Almost all of these rounds have been loaded on... These two presses. This one I got used at a garage sale in 2005. This one I bought new in about 2014, according to my records. I have loaded literally every single one of these rounds on these presses. 37,000 rounds on... Another myth is that apparently... You've got to freaking keep all of your stuff uh, absolutely, completely climate controlled. And if any bit of metal is touching on the outside and gets exposed to heat and cold in a non-climate controlled environment, you're going to destroy the world. Well, I hate to tell you this, but this shit's been sitting out here the entire time in a non, while insulated, uh, not exactly climate controlled environment. In fact, it's been sitting out in the freaking stuff forever. I have had never bothered to take anything in, including an electronic scale. And you know what? Everything works just fine. So, not buying that one either, cat. Another myth is that the average reloader loads millions of rounds of ammunition. Okay, look, I actually did the math on one of my YouTube commenters about one of my videos. And in that, I actually said, um, yeah, somebody actually ran the numbers. That means you would have had to load 21,000 rounds a year. I'm freaking pushing 2,100, and I feel like I shoot quite a bit, right? I'm a competitive shooter. I shoot quite a bit. I get out to the reloading bench every once in a while. Obviously, COVID slowed me down and some other things. But yeah, realistically... 37,000 rounds, I'm pretty happy because I can tell you that most shooters are full of shit. They'll say they shot 37,000 rounds in one gun. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, I buy that. Yeah, okay. You right. Keep going. Show me the document. I'd love to see it. And the other thing that I would say is, is another point of this video, is one other thing I would like to, to add. Number, number three or four, whatever the fuck we're at. That is um, that I believe that you should keep track of what you're loading. You should always keep track of what you're loading. And you should actually keep a good logbook like this. I like this one because it's sewn together and the pages don't fall out. And yeah, okay, it's fake. Whatever. You can tell me whatever you want. Like, I, I, I found an old logbook and put a bunch of chicken scratch in it. O okay, whatever. 37,000 rounds. Okay. 37,000 rounds since 2009. I think that's pretty good. I will take that. I will say that makes me a pretty experienced reloader because I can actually show you everything I did. All right? So, if you like this kind of stuff, I don't care. If you want to subscribe, I don't care because I don't do any of this for you. I do it for me. Thanks.